AL. We are now working on uh, part four of our implementation planning. So today we're going to focus on the automations. Um, a lot of these are going to just be, you know, time-based events, uh, status changes, stuff like that. Some of it will be adding tags, but mostly a lot of these are kind of boilerplate. They exist on both global and federal. They're not a lot of uniqueness here because mostly automations being time-based events instead of, you know, conditional based or event based event. Well, I'm wording that terribly. <laughs> instead of being time-based, they are, or instead of being event-based like triggers, they're time-based. So there's not a whole lot we do with them comparatively. So uh, let's just kind of get started. Um, the first one we do is going to be to auto close after seven days solved. Um, you'll notice that we use this formatting of uh, blah, colon, blah, colon, blah. Um, what we traditionally do is the category, what it's doing, and then a descriptor for it. Uh, we do that because automations do not have categories. So this kind of helps us categorize them a bit and get used to where they are. All right, so um, we have conditions. Let's do this. All right, all um, for this one. Status is solved. Hours since solved. We're going to use the calendar for this one. Um, is greater than we want seven days, which is 168 hours because it's an hours. And then tags contain. None of the following skip auto close for the situations where we want those. All right, now we're going to have actions and it will add tags auto close and set status to close. Yeah, that should be all we need there. Um, next, we need something to send out our SAT survey. So SAT survey and send out survey. Let's go ahead and copy this. Set these to TVD. That way we have these handy. And I'll kind of paste these over a couple of these down here. All right, so for this, we're going to want when the status is less than closed, um, hours since solved. Calendar is 24. Um, we want the satisfaction to be unoffered. Um, we want to make sure the organization is not GitLab because we don't need to send satisfaction service to ourselves. And then tags contain none of the, of the following. And this is where we want to use our exclusion. So, um, if it was marked a spam ticket, they're a free customer, which really won't apply to US federal, but just in case, um, submit it via GitLab email because we don't want to do it to ourselves. It's just kind of a double check there. And then we don't want to send it to unassociated users. And use that survey sent because we don't want to send it if we've already sent it. All right, so we're going to mark the satisfaction as Offer to requester. We're going to add the tag CSAT survey sent. And we're going to email user requester to be. So we can actually send them the survey. Email contents to be. Cool. Um, we're going to need one to open standard on hold tickets. So it's affecting the status. What is it doing? It's opening it. And we're going to reopen standard on hold tickets after four days is what we do here at GitLab. So status is on hold. Um, hours since on hold, we're going to use the calendar greater than 86. Type is not task. We'll have one specifically for task tickets because they have a due date. So we're going to change the status to open. And we're going to add tags agent updates needed because we need the agent to update it since it's been opened. Since we did that one, let's go ahead and do status open 
reopen on rules task tickets. And the type is task, hours until due dates, calendar to less than one, uh, tags contain none of the following, skip auto reopen, status is not open. Uh, we're going to actually need some any conditions for this one because we want it when the status is pending or the status is on hold. Um, action wise, we're just going to make the status open and add tags agent update. Community. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and kind of knock these out in random order, but notifications agent. Upcoming task notification, death notification. So hours until due date, calendar less than one, uh, type is task, tags contain none of the following. We'll have one for skip task notification so agents can skip it and task notification sent. So we need something so we can say we've done it. So we're going to add tags. We'll add the tag task notification sent. And we're going to email user assignee. And the content of that is TBD. So email content TBD. Yeah, that should do it for that. Let's um, also make one for when the for when the due date is too far in the future. So we're going to notify agent from my due date too far in the future. Okay, so type is task, hours until due date, calendar, greater than um, 600 is a value. Status greater than open, meaning that it's solved or on hold. Um, if it's closed, there's not hours until due date, so we don't have to worry about that. And we're going to make the status open, and we're going to email either sign e and that'll be an email telling him hey yeah that's too far in the future limit it back a bit let's go ahead and copy these real quick and paste them over a couple more of these so we don't have to do as much typing there we go all right so the next one we would need is um we need to remind agents they have an open ticket so notification is agent Agent remind agent of open ticket. And uh, we're going to do it when the status is open. Tags contain none of the, follow of the following. This is going to be the open ticket assignee follow up tag. We used that previously. Or since open calendar. Greater than, let's do it after 48 hours. And obviously, signing is not no. Um, Yeah, that should be good. And then actions, we're going to add tags. Open assignee ticket to open ticket assignee follow up. And we're going to email the user assignee a message about, hey, get an open ticket. That's just kind of a safeguard in case, you know, life happens, they just forget. Um, in the same vein, we're going to have a notif notifications agent remind uh, on the whole ticket. So we should spell things correctly. Uh, so status is on hold. Um, tags contain none of the following. Uh, let's do the auto assign open open ticket. I don't believe we use that anymore, but something we've done. We use a global, so it'll hurt to be there. And we'll have one for the auto assign, and then it's our sense on hold calendar. Uh, greater than, let's use 48 like we did for the other one. And then, um, yeah, so we're going to do the exact same thing here. 
for our actions, but we'll use this auto, we'll use this on hold instead of open. And because we don't know what the email content is as of yet. So email content to Okay, so um, with those in place, we need something to add a due date tag. So let's do status open add as due date tag to tickets with due date. Um, we could actually make this a trigger, but it works a little better in automation since we can do our since on hold calendar is one um, hour since due date calendar greater than zero and the type is task. So we have more options to do in automations. That's why we kind of do it here. We're just going to add tags as due date. Cool. Um, we need to reopen them if they don't have a due date. So let's do status open. Reopen task tickets with no due date. All right, and for this, we're going to have tags contain none of the following. And we'll just use our has due date tag to determine that. Um, hours since on hold. We'll do business for this one, it's 24. So after 24 hours, business hours of it being on hold if it doesn't have a duty in the type is task. We're just going to change the status to open. It's not in a state where it's ever going to reopen otherwise. All right, so we had the uh, discussion issues we made. So we need to close discussion issue. Um, and we'll do that hours since installed calendar. Let's do it after 48 hours of being solved. Um, status is solved, which is kind of a little bit redundant, but it's okay. Contain at least one of the following. We need it where it says it's discussion issue created. Tags contain none of the following. We're going to have this discussion issue closed. And what we're going to do here is add tags, discussion issue closed. And then we're going to notify a webhook, close discussion issue on GitLab. In theory, we don't need to specify it's on GitLab.com, but never hurts. So let's add another comment, webhook content TVD. Okay, um, we need to notify the requester when we're doing a pending follow-up. So notifications, requester, pending ticket, follow-up, notification, that's yeah, after seven days. And I forgot to do conditions, actions. All. Copy and paste here, so I got to take a bit. Paste that down there. All right. So for this one, um, hours since pending calendar greater than seven days is eight hours. Um, tags contain none of the following pending follow up notification. Tags contain none of the following blocked by. Um, it's not used in federal, but we're just doing that because we use it in global. So it makes sense to kind of be a little consistent there. So that's one of those ones that we don't have to do, but we're going to anyway. And we're going to notify webhook post update to ticket because we're going to post a comment. So let's correct that to be notify. And we're going to put DVD because we don't know the webhook content as of yet. So webhook content to reading. All right, and last one I can think of is we have one for auto closing, but we need one for auto solving. So status solve, auto solve tickets after we currently do 14 days. Helps if I spell things right though. 
All right, so for this one, we got hours since pending calendar greater than 14 days. Uh, let's see, 14 times 24 is 336. Yeah, so it should be 336. Um, tags contain none of the following ticket auto solve. So we have something we can add to prevent it from trying to do it multiple times, although it shouldn't ever need to. Contain none of the following. We're going to have one for skip auto close and we'll do block by because we do that in global. So we're going to add tags, ticket auto solve, and notify webhook post update to tickets because we're going to send them public comment to let them know your ticket's now been solved. Cool. So with all that in place, we have kind of knocked out what we needed. And um, yeah, that'll cover us on automation. So look forward to seeing you in the next part where we'll start digging into you know the rest of this. Look forward to seeing you in that video.